Hey fellas, this is Colin here watching Magic Strawberry. The NBA 2K franchise has for many years, despite the best efforts from EA, established itself as the preeminent basketball simulation. With each game, your production value increases, player models improve slightly, motions get fine-tuned until eventually 2K settles into a groove, at which point it seems that 2K is pumping out the same game year in and year out, and the quality of the games have plateaued. This trend continues with its newest installment, but considering just how fine-tuned these games are, we have to wonder if quality-wise, NBA 2K has reached a fever pitch, and that aside from minor graphical and performance upgrades, if it's realistic to expect a major improvement from an annual franchise. For this episode, I'll be reviewing NBA 2K20. Like I said, NBA 2K20, this time with the likes of Anthony Davis and Dwayne Wade gracing the cover, is largely on par with the game that came just a year earlier. Character models are barely improved, despite what 2K would have us believe, by the way, you know, when they throw up a side-by-side -side comparison of the last game and the current one, and on the before image, they strip away all of the sweat particles and summon the light bouncing off of him to make it seem inferior to the after image, even though in reality, they're largely similar. The production value also received a slight bump with everything including commentators whose conversations flow effortlessly and only feels tacky whenever guest commentators come on such as Kobe Bryant, Bill Simmons, and more. The players themselves give a better voice acting performance in courtside interviews during the games. Unfortunately, these courtside interviews with David Eldridge still feel stilted largely due to the random blank stares and bad lip syncing. As far as the gameplay itself, Again, it's almost a carbon copy of the last game. The ISO dribble control feels a little more intuitive, and making step back jumpers and executing flawless Euro steps towards the basket feels smoother than ever. We even have a new pull up play menu that lets you play isolation or various pick and pops at a moment's notice. Otherwise, it's the exact same game that we've grown accustomed to. 2K leans heavily on the if it's not broke, don't fix it mentality, and it's hard to blame them. Every control is responsive, and the game runs at a brisk 60 frames per second. Now more than ever, NBA 2K feels like the ultimate basketball simulation, and it's especially thanks to his badge system that's attributed to most of the players. The game modes themselves are largely the same. My team remains absolutely bogus, as it is essentially a virtual card trading game where you compile different characters who are unlocked through opening these virtual trading cards on the same team and compete against other players. I say it's a bogus mode because it's made apparent from the get-go that it is 2K's primary method of extracting as much money from their consumers as possible. And 2K remains ever so tactless by throwing in a literal roulette wheel. Luckily, the other game modes aren't quite as bad, especially my league, which continues to be 2K's best game mode. Essentially, you get to run a franchise for any team for up to 80 years while keeping track of rosters, salary caps, drafts, and doing the best you can to put your team in a position to win a title. Aside from a new feature that lets you force a team to win the next game, my league is virtually similar to what it was in 2K19 in almost every conceivable way, even down to the photos they use for some of the graphics. The mode that does change drastically from year to year is my career. This is where 2K likes to flex his narrative muscles, and to their credit, the cutscenes and dialogue get a little less cringy with each passing year, and now you can actually skip them if you so choose. The dialogue from actual players remains awful. The face scan feature, which can be used with the game's mobile app, gets a little easier to use with every game. It's just unfortunate that it doesn't work very well with beards. So after a clean shave, you'll be ready to import your likeness into the game to create your virtual counterpart who's actually talented enough to play in the NBA. In this dramatic basketball tale featuring the likes of Idris Elba, Rosario Dawson, and Thomas Middleditch from beloved HBO series Silicon Valley, we play as an up-and-coming prospect who decides to take a stand against Idris Elba for revoking the scholarship of one of his teammates who recently tore literally every ligament in one of his knees. The biggest problem with my career is that once your player enters the NBA, he plays like absolute garbage. Of course, 2K starts you off at a stark disadvantage to increase incentive to buy fake money with your real money so that you can use that fake money to improve your player so that his skill level more closely resembles the draft prospect everyone built you up to be in the first place. Otherwise, you're stuck playing scrimmages and full games to level up your player. I guess it's also supposed to resemble the real process it takes to become a star in the NBA. It's just that it's not very fun. Besides the broken grinding process, my career is still a worthwhile experience, at least until it moves past the main narrative, and it devolves into a day-to-day -day grind simulation, in which case it fizzles out quite quickly. 
NBA 2K20, despite its many similarities to 2K19 and 2K's corrupt business practices, is still the standard when it comes to NBA games. And with this addition of some WNBA teams, I'm excited to see what expansions 2K makes next. Everything from its presentation to its gameplay remains mostly top notch, and it's another fine addition to the franchise. Still, one can only wonder at this point if 2K could actually take a break and just coast off of one of its games for a couple years. It's not likely 2K21 would be vastly different from this game, and with constant updates, there's no reason fans wouldn't keep coming back to it. But with all that said, I give NBA 2K20 a 7.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching Magic Strawberry. Feel free to hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, and follow us on Twitter at ZTV Goofing Off. Bye!